we had a visitor stop by the camp. Hey guys, today I just wanted to kind of do a short video on the reason why I love bushcraft. I'm gonna tag a bunch of channels at the end of the video, but anybody's welcome to tag me or tag anybody else for this video, or just let us all know why you love bushcrafts and kind of let us know in, in the comments or something if you've got a, a video or you know want to share it. But the reason that I love bushcraft is I love being out in nature. I just like being away from all the BS in the world. You don't have to worry about any politics out here. You don't have to worry about your boss telling you you need to do this faster, you gotta do this faster and all that stuff. You can just come out in the woods and relax. Just like the Native Americans before us did. They came out into the woods and they just lived. It wasn't really a survival for them. It wasn't a big issue to come out to the woods to have a good time, it was just life. I'd say the biggest reason I love doing bushcraft is because I like having the skills to live with nature opposed to working against nature. You know, there's so many people that think that, you know, nature's out to get you and you have to beat nature. And that's not really the case, I never really thought. I always thought that sounded kind of stupid to me, but if you have the skills to live with nature, if you can go out and you can find your own food and you can find your own medicine, I mean, you're king of the world if you can do all that stuff. As long as you got those skills to do this, I mean, you can live anywhere in the world as long as you're skilled in that area. I mean, you can live like a king out there, no matter where it's at. I remember there was a time where me and my brother, we were in the woods with our, my mom and my stepdad, and, and they kind of let us go off and do our own thing. So they went one way, we went another, and we ended up finding ourselves down a horse trail. And somehow we walked down this trail and we managed to walk off trail. And this is whenever I was 12, 13 years old. So I remember we were both kind of mystified about how we got lost and when we got lost because it was just one of those stupid things where you know, you're walking down a trail and you take a step off a trail, go check out something that's kind of neat, and then boom, next thing you know, you're lost. You're looking around, like, where in the world are we? Shoot, where, where's the trail at? You know, one of those types of situations. And, you know, that's how a lot of people end up getting lost, and sometimes they never get found. But we actually was able to find our way back to a highway, and our mom and our stepdad kind of drove down the road, and they picked us up, and we got really lucky because that could have been a lot worse situation. But ever since then, I always wondered, what if I would have gotten lost out there? Would I have lived, would I have died? Because who knows? But, you know, I mean, I got grounded like crazy. I mean, I couldn't do anything for a couple of days with my buddies and stuff, but but we got lost and you know, it's you feel kind of stupid saying that anytime you, you say it, but you know what happened to me? I got lucky and I was able to find my way out. So it wasn't a, a real huge emergency, but ever since that day, I wondered about it. If I could have the skills to get out of there, if I could have stayed all night, what would I have done? Things like that. But I wanna thank everybody that took the time to watch this video. Hit that like button, subscribe, leave any comments. And as always, keep your blade sharp, your mind sharper. See you next time. Thanks for watching.